How to send bulk emails on MailChimp step by step. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to send bulk emails with a great software which is called MailChimp. And if you haven't used MailChimp, please start using it because it is a great software to start your digital marketing or any type of marketing you're doing right now. MailChimp is amazing for it and I'm going to take you through all of the basics. I'm going to sign you up with MailChimp. I'm going to show you all the basic overview of all the features it provides. And after that, I'm going to show you how to send bulk emails. And it's going to be very simple and very easy. I just want you to follow all the instructions to this video till the end. And if you do that, I guarantee you that you're going to properly know how to send bulk emails using MailChimp. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I need to get you familiarized with what MailChimp is. So MailChimp is basically an email marketing company. Uh, it basically grows your business and it's an all in one marketing with automation and email marketing platform. It basically automates all your emails it sends your emails to different clients it's for great marketing for any type of business you have for e-commerce it's just great it's a great feature and a great software to use if you're in a business or e-commerce and i recommend you start using it right now so now that you're familiarized with it we're going to go into this website which is mailchimp.com now once you're here you can see it has a very user-friendly interface you can see all the different features it has to offer like convert with automations Optimize with AI, target with segmentation, sync with integrations. It integrates with other e-commerce softwares like Shopify, WordPress, all other softwares. You can look into all of that when you come here. You can check all the different pricings. It has the free price, the essentials plan, standard plan, and the premium plan. You can go with any one of these if you want. I'm just going to go with a free one right now. Now, once you have seen all the basics of the website, you're going to go to sign up. Now, once you go to sign up, it asks you if you want to choose any plan. You can go with free or with any one of the other plans. It's totally on you. But once you do that, here you're going to add an email. I'm using a temporary email for now, but I want you to add your proper email. So I'm just going to add this. Then you're going to add your username, put it as whatever you want. Basically, just add a username which uh, matches the MailChimp facilities. Now, once you do that, then you're going to keep a, a strong password, which matches with the algorithm. And once you do that, you're just going to click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, what it's going to do is it's going to take you to uh, this place where it's going to ask you to verify your email. So all you need to do is you're going to go to your email place. And here you can see uh, that it says activate your MailChimp account. And I'm going to click on activating my account. It just confirms that it's really us and not a robot. And once we do that, we're going to wait for it to load up. So once it's loaded up, it says account setup. And in account setup, basically, we're, we're again going to check the plan that we want. Once you do that, you're going to click on next. And here we're going to optimize ourselves with the website policies and put in our names. So put in your first name, your last name, put in any type of business. Let's say I have a business related to media now once i've put that in in phone number it can be optional if you want to put it in if, or if you want it's just a 2fa if you want to complete it or not after that you're going to click on next once you click on next just make sure to add an address then you're going to click on next what's your top goal with mailchimp you can check any one of these i'm going to click on i'm just checking things out but make sure to check any one of these if you're actually into the business then you're going to click on next how many email subscribers do you have? You can choose any one of these or you can skip it totally upon you. Then you're going to click on next. Please make sure to choose these rightfully because if you do have subscribers, you need to click it because according to that, MailChimp is going to optimize your dashboard. And once you do that, it says, how do you sell to your customers? Our own website or online store. You can choose any one of these or you can choose we're not currently selling. Then click on next. Just know this, that if you have your own website, it's going to ask you to import it like this one. If you want to import it, I don't want to. So I'm just going to do that. And how should we stay in touch? You can do this and click on finish. And once you're there, it says you're on your way. Let's go and let's get started. 
So this is basically the setup uh, MailChimp and now we're properly and fully set it up with it. Now I'm going to show you all the basics of it. So once you're here, you can see all these great features that MailChimp has. It says create your first email, set up an automation, grow your audience, connect your store. You can do any one of these. And in the left hand side, you can see all these different options. It says campaigns, audience, automations, analytics, website content website is basically any other e-commerce website that you have or you can just start designing your very own website from here in content you have different contents your files your products your gifts etc in integrations you can obviously integrate with different softwares like shopify canva quickbooks you have zapier woocommerce squarespace square up stripe any one of these and you can connect with them at any time you want so now that you know all that goes on behind the scenes even in automations if you come you can see all these different pre-built journeys that it has for you now once you know what the basic gist is now let's talk about how you can send bulk emails now to send bulk emails first of all you're gonna need to have contacts and obviously for contacts you're gonna go on audience you're going to click on all contacts. Now, once you click on all contacts, it's just going to take a moment to load up. Now, once it does, you're going to click on add contacts and you're going to click on either add a subscriber or you're going to click on import contacts because to send bulk emails, you're going to need to have a subscriber. Uh, so just click on add a subscriber or you're going to click on import contacts. You can import them from other services. It's totally upon you. Uh, but once you've either added a subscriber, like over here, you're going to add a subscriber, their email, their name, etc. Once you've done all that, what's going to happen is that subscriber is going to come down in your contacts overview right over here. And it's going to be shown down here. You, you're going to be able to see them. Now, once you've added a contact, you're going to go in campaigns because in campaigns is where all the magic happens. This is where all the work really goes on because over here you create your emails your drafts other types of things so let's say you don't really have any draft for email right now all you need to do is you're going to click on create campaign once you click on create campaign you can choose any one of these it can be a landing page can be an embedded html or css form or it can be a regular email you can click any one of these totally upon you I'm going to click on design email Now, once you click on design email what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to design your email so I'm just going to make it really quickly uh, you can make it out of any of these uh, let's say templates or themes you can code your own or you can just start from a blank so let's say I, I want to make it out of this template I'm going to click on it now once I click on it, it brings me here. So all I need to do is I just need to configure it. I'm going to change it according to whatever or however I want. Once I do that, I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to click on exit anyway. And once I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to create a draft for me in my campaigns. And now it's going to ask two, who are you sending the campaign to? This is the crux of the video because over here, you're again going to import contacts and in this you're going to add all your subscribers and that is how you're going to send your bulk email then you can put in from who is sending this campaign you can add in your name you can add the subject you can check if the content is right you can send a test email to yourself and once you do that all you need to do is you're just going to send it and what's going to happen is it's going to send the email to all the imported contacts that you just imported in the all contacts section. And it's going to import it subscriber to subscriber, contact to contact, and everyone's going to get the same email with all their designated names. And that is how easy it is to send bulk emails using MailChimp. So that's basically the crux of it and that's how easy it is. If you want to see more videos like this or if you have any queries related to this video, please let me know down in the comments. But until then, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all next time. That was all from me. Goodbye.